I just wanted to take some photographs. I think this is a little bit beyond me, to be honest. <laughs> I'm now bound to some sort of magical amulet. And I was wondering if there was going to be some sort of paranormal stuff in this game. Obviously, yes, there is. It's a witted utopia, right? Hurry! Oh. Turn right and enter the door into Quadrant 73. This leads into the utopia. Does it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's just follow his instructions. Okay, it looks like it's a very sort of linear tunnel, so I don't think there's any branches or anything. Let's just go towards the door and do as he says. Don't have to mess with this, do I? No. All that? No. Right. Ah, oh, there appears to have been a cave-in that has blocked this route. <laughs> okay. You will have to turn around and follow this tunnel to the door at the other end. Be careful. I detect energies stirring near the ventilation shaft. Okay. All right. I will. I'll see if I can avoid any bright lights, specifically. Never mind then. Let's go this way. Let's go left instead. God, this is very, very strange. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of into it, I suppose. <laughs> couple of boxes down there. Can we have a look at those? Maybe when we're a little bit closer. No? Again, lots of things to do with power, but I'm going to assume everything's fine. We don't need to find fuses quite yet, at least. Alright. Hello again. Very good, Traveller. You are safe. At least for now. The ethereal energies prevent my being able to sustain this channel of communication with you for long. For this reason, lengthy explanations are a luxury that we cannot afford. My name is, or was, Baron Wittar. Oh, right. The designer and creator of this place. I am speaking to you from a spirit plane, and because you are the amulet bearer, it is only you that can hear me when I speak. Okay. You will need to follow this tunnel. It leads to the maintenance and basement area of the Utopia. Once there, you will need to find your own way around. I hope that will not be a problem for you. Me too. I will try to communicate with you and offer guidance whenever I am able. Whenever the ethereal energies are strong enough to support it. Until that time, seek out the ten ancient runestones. You will need them. We've got ten ancient runestones to find. Alright, maybe this is a lot like Barrow Hill. Sure, sure, okay. Well, this is this is taking a strange turn, but I'm I'll plow through, I'll plow on ahead, go on. Sure, okay. Um well, apparently this way is going to be the basement area, so let's start at the bottom and work up, right? Well, there you go, there's a ladder. Everything's unlocked and everything. Yep. Seems so. Up we go. Now, <laughs> during the phone call at the beginning, she did mention that he had a, you know, his death was under mysterious circumstances, right? Huh. <laughs> okay. Is that where we came from? I guess so. Yeah, I think so. What's going on here? Ah. Uh, right, yeah. Probably don't want to be messing around with this, but I'll try. <laughs> Why not? Give it a spin. All right. Can we go inside? What is that I'm hearing? Just creaking of floorboards above me or something? I don't know. Can't seem to open this one. Don't know what the hell I'm doing, really. Uh, put it back, I think. Yeah, put it back. Actually, maybe with that one up, can I use this one? No, no, I can't. It's just this one for whatever reason. Uh, let us back away. I have no idea what I'm doing. I should probably just explore and come back when I, when I know what's going on here, if that ever actually does happen. Uh, let's have a look at this desk. Looks like there might be something to have a look at. So uh, yeah, there's a strange sound. Wittard Facility Management Services, right? 
Um, Flathead Plaza within Witted Utopia. Okay. So we are in. Anyway, Jeff. I received yet another fax this morning from Witted, complaining angrily about some recent power outages at his residence on the first floor. He is insistent that over the past three weeks he has filed in excess of 15 reports on the WMS system, and that the entire maintenance department at the Utopia appear to have ignored each and every one of them. Apparently, none of the problems are at present resolved. In addition to notifying you of problems with power outages, he claims to have raised issues regarding elevator stuttering, air conditioning failure, and water seeping through the ceiling of the ground floor cafe. His fax to me is, as usual, not exactly phrased in the politest language, and I am now concerned that he means to have the entire maintenance department replaced if these problems do not disappear within three days of your receipt of this letter. Please consider this note an official warning to everyone in maintenance at the Utopia. Please resolve these technical issues and fast. Witted might indeed be a veteran complainer, but he is also the complainer who provides our paychecks each month, both yours and mine. I hope everybody there will consider this sufficient motivation to attend their duties promptly and without hesitation. Right, okay. Let's back away from that. I wonder if they ever got anything sorted. I mean, even down in the tunnel there were power outages, so maybe not. We have a menu here for an Indian takeaway. <laughs> Alright. Also, on, on floor 5 of Witted Utopia, 435 years. I guess this is a deceptively big place. Ooh, damn. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know, this might just be fluff. There might be a point to it. Maybe I'll come back to it later. What's this? Need a taxi? Not right now, but who knows? Maybe this is how I get out of here. Parking Bay 3. Okay. <laughs> Do nothing. Yay! But Boxing Day. Repair. Broken boiler. Silly timesheets. Yep. Oh, yep. And there's some more as well. Examine the noise in sewer. Same noise in the sewer the day later, huh? Oh, I see. It's just these two, is it? I just keep cycling back through them. Alright, well, let's back away from that. Um, so that's those, I suppose, unless this is a separate one. Which it's not. So, okay, fair enough. Don't want the mug. What's this? Uh, it, it, I don't know. <laughs> but I've got it. I've got it. I've oh, is this one? Of, this is this one of the ten stones? Are they, have they all got letters on them? Maybe. Well, this this one's stone F, I suppose. So if I did want to use something, I can just like drag and drop it. It seems. Can I put this back? I mean, I just wanted to come here and take photos. This is a bit above my pay grade, honestly. What about combining? Is that a thing? Uh, maybe, maybe. Do I want to take the jerry can? No, I don't. All right. Well, let's back away. And I don't know. Anything in the drawers? Any drawers? No, I don't think so, actually. What is that sound? Let's have a look. Don't suppose we can pry this off. Can we use the bolts or anything? No. So I guess we're not going that way. What's the, oh dear, hang on. I don't like where this is going. This might be a fuse thing. Oh, hello again. <laughs> This is the emergency power supply. It is protected by one of my puzzles. When I created them, I did not stop to think how they would stand in our way at a time of crisis. Well, you're an idiot then. You will need to find a way to activate the power supply. Once activated, you will find some of its connection points throughout the ground floor. Okay. Well, yeah, sure. So this is this is going to be a puzzle, is it? All right, well, let's, let's take a look. The puzzles have mostly been kicking my ass so far, but let's see what this is all about, shall we? Uh, okay. A lot of numbers on the screen. One, two, three, four, all right, one, all the way to sixteen. It looks like. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh huh. So we can just move numbers around willy-nilly somehow. We just, I guess, pull them out and put them back in. Yeah, that's okay. So... What are we doing? I mean, can we... No, we can't actually manipulate these numbers, just the ones over here, just these 16. 
I assume we- well actually, if, is this like a magic square? If that's the case, I might be able to sort something out. Because there's a, a neat little trick for them, really, but... Well, hang on. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. Let me just... Let me do something. Uh, so, what is it? So, 1, 7, 80... 34? Is that right? There's no one down here, so maybe it's not a magic square or something. Um, so, what was it? I think I can leave the diagonals in, so I can... If I just move these around, so hang on, if the 3 goes where 14 is and the 15 goes where 2 is... Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So we've got 34 down here, we've got 34 up there. Yeah, that's it, it's, it's 34. They all need to be 34, so the 5 will go where 12 is, and the 9 goes where the 8 is. Yeah? Yeah! Just like that, there you go. I haven't used that trick in a long time, but yeah, it's, you just sort of... Like, imagine it mirrored, kind of. You just switch the positions and that's what you need to do. That's it. That's done, I think. So, we have power. Is that power? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we got valves up here as well. Oh, man. What do these do? Not much at the moment. Uh, yeah, again, I don't really know what this is all about, so I'll, I'll come back later. That's pretty cool. Okay, well... I suppose we should probably go up here. So let's go up here. Right? <laughs> it's like the fade has to catch up with the sound effects sometimes. Right, so this is the Utopia, is it? Grand Hall, Kids Kingdom, Cafe and a swimming pool that way. Okay, yeah, sure. Right. Okay, hang on, I did- Yeah, ah, yep! We can have a look through the grate, it looks like? Yes! Alright, I guess I'm just holding myself up. Is that blood on the pillow? Looks like it. Hmm. I've got to admit, none of this really seems like a utopia to me. Although I don't know how long it's been in disrepair, really. But by the looks of it, quite a long time. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's keep going along the corridor, why not? Let's explore. I've finally made it. This is Kid's Kingdom, okay. Alright, so let's just take it screen by screen, checking everything out. Nice paintings there, well, they used to be nice at least. This way, okay. Looks like I won't be allowed to go into Kid's Kingdom, so that's fair enough, I suppose. Nothing over there? No. Something over here, though. Alright. Um, an alphabet board? I don't want to take it with me. I don't really know why I'm looking at it, honestly. I mean, there's, there's got to be a point to it. Like, there's a point to loads of stuff, I'm sure. But again, I'll, I'll just come back to it later. I think in this video, I'm just going to have to explore it and see what I find, really. Definitely don't want to sit down. Okay. Can't pry the boards off, that's okay. Let's just keep going down here. Ah. Oh. oh! I thought I sorted the power out. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay. Just a temporary setback. No worries. Huh. So, the Baron mentioned a, a hymn, didn't he? Like, I don't know. Uh, do you know what this is reminding me of, actually? It's, it's Bioshock, actually. It's like an Andrew Ryan, Frank Fontaine kind of situation. So, yeah, maybe the uh, the the guy that he's afraid of is the guy that has a, a bright light that can disintegrate people. Anyway, we have an ATM here, and it looks like it's, you know, not going to work. No, I can't press any of the buttons, the screen's smashed, and everything is just ruined, so, uh, yeah. Back away. Other side. Just some windows for the cafe, I suppose. Strange. Very, very strange. Yeah, I suppose, if this is just one big building, most of the rooms in this place wouldn't have a view of the outside, which is really quite weird. Yeah, he's not working over there. That's fine. That's fine. Was that a menu? Looks like it. Yep. The diner cafe. Soup of the day. Caesar salad. The junior gut buster. Woo! Sounds good. Turbo muncher. Okay. 
<laughs> that's another little staple of me in point and click adventure games the curse of sweep I think everyone does that really though don't they just looking for things to uh, interact with okay we actually have to use the handles it seems yes we do okay well let's have a look at this to start with it's Brickyard playing tonight at 8 hey you hey I can't point back unfortunately <laughs> I'd love to but I can't uh, yeah sure uh, that night was probably quite a few years ago. This. Can't have a look at that. That's okay. Nothing on the foreground. The welcome mat. There's no key hidden under there or anything. Okay. Well, let's let's go in. Can we do that? Seems so. Ooh. Okay. Lots of graffiti everywhere. I'm obviously not the first person to, you know, break into this place. Uh, yeah, okay. Was left or right? Left or right? I'm gonna say left. Does it work? Yes, I think so. Alright, so here we go. This is the cafe, and this would not be my first choice for dining, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's just take it one screen at a time, I suppose. Right, let's have a look at the door. So we're back here, like we're really properly examining something. I Maybe if I had an item, I could use it on this door. Like, is that is that a keyhole there? It looks like it might be. Strange place for it, but yeah, maybe if I had a key, I could just sort of drag and drop it. Like that. But yeah, that <laughs> that's clearly not the right thing. What about this side? Right, on the tables. Okay, let's just keep going along. Look at every single table, then I'll have a look at the counter. The briefcase, come on. No combination lock puzzle? I'm insulted. Okay. Let's go over here. Looks like this was sort of half barricaded, this window. Huh. So when this place stopped working, it really stopped working. There were riots in here, I guess. There's so much damage inside, it's crazy. Nothing in there, no, okay. That's, uh... That's not him, is it? Possessing the the flame, the fire, the, the whatever, the, the bright light that took care of Aaron. Oh, hang on, here we go, finally. Got something to have a look at, and it's, uh... I don't know. A couple of symbols. Nothing on the seats. But, uh, yeah, a couple of symbols at least. It looks kind of familiar, actually. Alright, well let's try the uh, the plates, the cutlery, let's try the counter this time, let's have a look at the other side of the room. Can we go back there? I don't know if we can step round really, but yeah, okay. Nothing on the plates, no, just more menus. I can't lean over, I can't have a look at these cupboards, it looks like. This place is just ruined, it's wrecked. Yeah, I just have a look at the door. I can't move around, it looks like. Okay, I think we're kind of done here. So, unless there's something on the ceiling. I don't, uh, don't think so. Like with many other points-and-click adventure games, usually the first-person ones, I will miss a lot of details. And if you are one of the few people that have played this game before and you do notice something that I don't, please, uh, please let me know what it is and I'll go back to the area and have another look. Alright, we got... Bit of a rec room here, another pool, and a pool table. Don't suppose we can play, can we? Yeah, we can't pick up the queue. Ah, okay, what's this? Something we can actually properly have a look at, it looks like. Alright. Oh, I see. Oh, I can move these around. Sure. Again, I don't know why I'm doing this. There's probably... Or there might be two more that I need to find. Can we just, like, swap them straight away? Doesn't look like it. No, okay. Maybe there's another one that needs to go in the slot? Or, uh, who knows, really. But again, something I'll have to come back to. Okay, up here. Dartboards. Don't really feel like playing right now. Haha, <laughs> playing. Funny how you say a word and you see it on the screen sometimes.
Is there a face on that door? It kind of looks like it. <laughs> Behind this counter, again, not an option. I guess I'm not a member of staff. I don't want to be out of place. Nothing here. No, nothing here at all. Right, so we're heading towards this door, it seems like, but can we go? Right, yeah, go, go around. Oh, we can't. So we can't have a look at that table over there? No, I guess not. Well, it's, it's just the door then for us. Right. Yeah, it is kind of a face. Let's try it. Does it work? Yeah? I want to say? Oh, goodness me, look at this. Right. So that's how they got around it, did they? Lots of areas like this. So you can see the windows just through that, that glass up there. Interesting. So there's probably a load of little courtyards within the building. Uh, okay. This really feels like a big place, and I could get very lost here. I don't know if we... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's right-click. Here we go. Let's have a look at this. Is this has this changed at all? Is this like a, a map or something? No, nothing. Nothing yet. No notes. No nothing. I would love a map. I was kind of hoping that was what it was going to be, but I, I guess not. Uh, back we go. Right, well, let's just head around the courtyard and have a look, shall we? What have we got down here? Nothing. Some flower beds. Go that way. Or the other way. Oh, hang on. Cups and saucers. Maybe I want a few? Ooh! Oh, we've got another one! Is, is this another one of the uh, the stones? I think so. And I don't think that's meant to be the letter N, as such. So maybe they're just... Right, they're, they're just rune symbols, I take it. Hmm, hmm, okay. Nothing else in the packing peanut box, that's okay. Let's back away from this. Somehow. Can we do that? Yep. There we go. Nothing over there. Right, yeah, let's go around this in a sort of clockwise direction, I suppose. Having a look at everything we can. I've been recording for quite a while. Maybe I'll split this up into, like, two recordings or something. Nothing down there, no. Looks like we can sort of walk across. <laughs> Have a look at all the pond life. Couple of cushions. I'm not so bothered with them. Yeah, let's go around the outside before we go through the middle. Just trying to find anything that might catch my eye. It looks a little bit out of place, but to be honest, this is all fairly sort of regular. Again, like most of the other places, it looks like it's in disrepair, but nothing too out of place. Nothing down there, I don't think. No, hopefully I won't have to get my feet wet. Alright, so we're at the far corner now. Nothing down there buried in the soil, no. Okay, we have another double door here. That's not the one I came through. Is that a... Oh god, that might be a bloody handprint. Oh, hang on, here we go. Uh, we have a music magazine. Right. And a puzzle as well? Maybe. Possibly. 34. Oh, right. Oh, was was that the clue for the thing I already did? I guess. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Unfortunately, I can't really read this. Or maybe that is kind of fortunate, I'm not sure. Let's back away, though. I think that's all we can have a look at on this table. So... Yeah, unless there's something else. I'm gonna go head to that double door. To see, yes, a bloody handprint. I'll try that in a moment, I will. Oh, oh, footprints as well! What in the hell? Hold on, where, where's this coming from exactly? Let, let's go around. Looks like someone just came out of the water with bloody feet and just walked on in. Fair enough. Can't have a look at this? No, I guess not. Um. 
All right, well, I, I did say I was going to have a look at the center of this after I had a look at the outside, so let's do that. Yeah, just walk straight on out and through there. How odd. Nothing on the bridge itself. Sounds a bit creaky. Maybe I don't want to be going across it, really. Just a bit of a shortcut, I think. Um, yeah, okay. Well, obviously, I need to have a look at these double doors, then. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to this screen. Did I see something on the floor? That's a flashlight or something, right? Oh, no. Oh, it might be... A, oh, it's a candle, maybe. Or a handle? I'm not really sure. But either way, I, uh, I don't want it. Right. Yeah? I was half expecting that to be locked, but no. As luck would have it, here we are. Wherever here is. Oh, goodness me, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, information? I suppose I would want some information. That's probably a good place to start, really. Can we get ourselves over there? Yeah, let's head towards... Oh, this would be the entrance, right? So this is the main lobby. This is... Yeah. That explains all of this. Grand opening. <laughs> Seems like such a long time ago. Chandeliers falling down. Man, okay. Yeah, let's go to the desk. There might be something of interest here. Here we go. A beautiful wish. Holiday. There's that symbol again. That... That yellow square with a yellow circle in it. I've seen that twice, maybe more now, actually. I think, I've, I think I saw it earlier on before that as well. Anyway, it looks like I can't pick these up. Don't want any of them. So, back we go. Let's see if we can get behind the desk. We might be in some luck here. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. Right, and what have we got here? Ah! Perfect! Now, are we, are we picking these up, or are we just looking through them? We're picking them up. That's that's it. That's, that's great. Now, wh where are they? Up the top? Let's have a look at this again. Has it changed? Right! So we actually do have a map. That's what it was for. Great. Uh, yeah, okay, so the front door's blocked, so we're here now at the courtyard, there's the inner garden, the basement down there, sure. Um, yeah, so we went through the cafe, there was the pool, I haven't had a look at the pool yet, I suppose that's maybe the next place I could go. Viking Museum is apparently just around here, just on this side of the room actually, but there's an X over the door, I think, so maybe I can't go through there? Sewer in the basement, yeah, sure, what about, let's see. Okay, so the first floor and the second floor are actually both on one page. Interesting. And the roof? Weird device. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, there you go. There's a little sneak peek into all the areas we're probably going to be visiting. And what about this? Can we have a look? Yes, we can. Uh, oh god, symbols and locations? Initiation, defense, protection. Definitely does sound like magic. <laughs> Can we use the phone? No? I don't suppose our own phone has any signal in here, does it? I'm just thinking, should I have been getting my camera out all this time? Because, I mean, this might be a good location to do a couple of shots, right? So we do have some drawers down here, but I can't have a look. Aha! We do have a safe, though. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Right, oh, that's what the symbols are about? Oh, and there's very, very small increments as well. Oh, okay, well, yeah, it probably is going to be turning it maybe 40 times or something to get to the right one. A little bit strange that someone who knew the combination decided to paint a picture all around this area so that someone like me could get in, but, uh, I've seen a few of them before. Well, I've definitely seen the yellow squares, and I've seen one of the green crosses as well in the cafe. On the same table, actually. Again, something I'll have to come back to. I don't know where all the symbols are. I don't know what numbers they're attributed to. 
Nothing down there, no. Can we have a look at the computer? Does it work? I guess not. Not pressing an on button or anything? No, okay. Alright, I think we've got all the information we can get from the reception desk area. So, yeah, let's back away. Um, I probably should head back to the corridor, which I guess could be that way. Lifts out of order. Let's see, is this closed off? There was an X over the door. Uh, oh. What's up? Oh, oh, right, there's another one. Hey, so we found three of these already, and what did he say? There was like ten? Okay. Let's put that back. No one's brandishing a sword, are they? Oh, good. <laughs> Alright, well, weirdly, I can't seem to get to what is meant to be a Viking museum. I guess it wasn't finished, or the door is just like a placeholder or something. It's kind of weird. Maybe there's another way in. Right, so there's a box on the floor here. Can I have a look? Looks like a toolbox. I mean, surely this would be of use. Hammer down there. Like, tools all over the place, actually. Now I look at it. But nothing I can actually take. What about this? Nothing? No? Just for more information, I suppose. Right, yeah, let's go across then. If we can't take a bottle of wine. Which I don't think we can. And let's go to the other side and see what that's got to offer us. Alright, some cups over there it looks like we can just take. Chandelier, alright, alright. Looks like we could actually maybe go up those stairs over there. Maybe I'll come back to that. Let's go this way. Can we... No. Oh. Looks like we might actually be able to use the lift here too. Oh, hold on. Is there a problem with the buttons? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it might be a power issue. Maybe I'll have to make another sort of magic square. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. Well, let's, let's try it. Does it work? Yeah, definitely a power issue. Um, I'll, I'll come back to that, I suppose. Oh, I see, it's a coffee. It's a coffee machine. Can't use it, though. So yeah, to the double doors. And through. Right, we can go through here. Sure. Right, so now I know where I am. Um, so we had a look at the cafe. That goes to the lobby. That goes to the pool. Can we take this? No, it just it stands out so much, you know. The box on the wall. No, guess we can't have a look at that. Well, let's try the pool then, shall we? The blue swimming pool. No? Not working? Not working, apparently. I guess I need a, uh, I need a key. Or... Oh no, we can have a look at this! And there's a key already in it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Oh boy, it's another one of his puzzles, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I was kind of hoping that was going to be fixed in position, really, and that was actually going to be the answer to one of them. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. So, this is going to be airtight, as in, like, no squares left behind. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, this could take me a while. Um, yeah. I have been playing for quite a while, so I think this is actually where I'm going to end probably the second video of this recording session, so yeah, uh, now I want to know if you want to see a part three. So far, I've enjoyed it. It's weird, it's very sort of quirky, it's got its own thing going, but there's elements to this I like. The puzzles so far have been pretty interesting and quite varied. There's this one I'll have to deal with. Um, but yeah, yeah, put your comments down below, and if there's enough support, you'll see a part three, and if that happens, hopefully this puzzle will be sorted when we return. Alright? Thanks for watching. See you next time. We've got ten ancient runestones to find. Alright, maybe this is a lot like Barrow Hill. Sure! And the nine goes where the eight is. Yeah? Yeah! Right? <laughs> it's like the fade has to catch up with the sound effects sometimes. I'll try that in a moment, I will. Oh, oh, footprints as well! What in the hell?